What is going on Guardians, J-Man here, and welcome to Witch Queen. Today we're talking about an exotic that I was pretty pumped to test out, which is the Osteostriga, aka the Thorn SMG. Now before we dive into how this exotic feels, I did want to share how I obtained the Osteo, and it was actually very simple. While browsing through the available weapon shapes for crafting at the Enclave, I scrolled over to SMGs, and boom, there it was. At this time, I did complete the legendary campaign and one or two of the crafting quest, so I'm not really sure if there's a trigger to make this available, considering I haven't really done anything outside of the campaign. So check out the Enclave, select your stock perks, and make this exotic yours. In terms of RPM, Osteo sits at 600 rounds per minute, which is consistent with the precision frame archetype like Shaira's Wrath. Ostia's unique trait is Toxic Overload, where landing a final blow or multiple precision hits triggers a burst that poisons nearby targets, and on top of this, the intrinsic exotic trait is Screaming Swarm, which causes this weapon to fire a stream of sentient toxic projectiles that track the targeted enemy. Now what's interesting about this exotic is similar to DMT and Hawkmoon, we'll be able to change the barrel, magazine, and stock, however this time through weapon crafting. Taking a peek at the reshape feature at the Enclave, you can see that as I level this weapon up, I can now select new perk options, and if I grind all the way to level 10, we'll unlock its catalyst. This in general is such a great system because as I get used to this weapon, I can make it even more powerful and cater it to my playstyle. So how does the Osteo actually feel in the Crucible? It definitely feels powerful, but there is a learning curve to master. While the Osteo shoots at 600 rounds per minute, the bullet's travel speed is slow, and you almost need to lead the enemy on to land shots. Now some of this is handled through the tracking that Screaming Swarm is helping with, but it's not as straightforward as aiming other SMGs and takes some time to get used to. You also need to adjust to the Toxic Overload trait, adding that poison damage after landing multiple precision rounds. For my Halo fans out there, think of the Needler. You stick the enemy a few times and you get behind cover until they blow into smithereens. The same is true for Osteo, and where I started finding success with this is when I would pop out, hit a few rounds, and then get behind cover to let the poison do its trick. And I was actually surprised at the range of this thing. I would estimate that in some cases up to 25 meters, I was tracking Guardians down and defeating them with those poison rounds. So while the Osteo is strong, do I think it's overpowered? Probably not. I can picture this weapon being viable on small maps and trials, especially for those campy teams that don't like to challenge. It's a great way to have some bullets track onto the enemy and burn them while they're hiding behind cover. But you definitely need to be careful with playing overly aggressive, which is a common playstyle for SMG users like Multimock. As I mentioned, it takes a bit for the poison damage to tick in and actually defeat a target, so if you overcommit, you can get gunned down first while you're just hoping for a trade. Instead, you kind of want to bait the enemy into your location where you can still get behind cover and let the poison do its job. Overall, this is great weapon design from Bungie. The Osteo has its place in the meta where it provides some ease of use, but isn't completely overpowered like other exotics have been in the past. Guardians, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subbing to the channel. I hope everyone is enjoying Witch Queen, and I'll see you in the throne world.